Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week at Falmouth. I'm Michael. I'm Susan. Hey, Susan. Hey, Michael, on this steamy, rainy, hot, but sunny right now day. <laughs> I mean, you can kind of see the light coming in from the window. It was crazy early. Yeah. It was dark. It was like nighttime. I know. Normally, I close this behind us, but wow. the light just came in. So yeah. You Right, wow. Right away. Yeah. So, yeah. well, that's about it for the week, I think, right? Yeah. Right yeah, now, it's going to be so. good weather. Back to yeah. it. So, there might be a little rain on Saturday. Mm, but a lot of great things going on. Right. Yeah. In fact, a couple pages nice. worth. Nice. So, we're going to start out with a consignment crawl. Cons this is the consignment right. stores that are in the area. They're doing a crawl for the month of August. Love it. Um, the boutique on the byway was the one that gave us the information. Come on in, they said. Grab the flyer, get the details. They'll give you a 20% discount. Your first stamp, so in other words, get your little location stamped, and even possibly win a basket valued at $100. Nice. And Boutique on the Byway is over on the Queen's Byway. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Rather than a pub crawl. A consignment a crawl. A consignment crawl. Yeah. I like yeah. it. Um, Art and Wellness Stretch and Sketch Series continues at Falmouth Museums on the Green. And this is Wednesday, August 9th, 10 o'clock. Maritime Scenes in Motion, a deep dive into the seafaring paintings at the Falmouth Historical Society. And they do have some oh, seafaring paintings. Beautiful things, things in there. They actually have a real EF Lincoln in there and yeah. some other pretty amazing things. They so, have, yeah, they have some interesting yeah. uh, art. Yeah. Uh, the, the program starts with a short 20-minute talk given by the director, American art historian Rachel Lovett, nice. follow, uh, followed by a 45-minute yoga session. Uh, uh, led by Amy Littlefield um, in the beautiful garden. And it's paired with the theme of the painting talk. And it is beautiful. Good for all levels. And it is beautiful in that garden. And this Super rain garden. is really good Ooh, for that garden. Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. Ooh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Community Health Center Open House. This is their 25th year. Yeah, Wednesday, August 9th, at 1 to 3 o'clock at the Health Center on 107 Commercial Street in Mashpee. Um, all attendees will be entered into a raffle. This free this is a free event with giveaways for the first 20 people of a scale, electronic toothbrush, hat, a jacket, produce bag giveaways, Tufts Health Plan, blood pressure and body mass screenings, breast cancer awareness information, wow. on and on and on. Meet there, meet the team members, learn about employment or volunteer opportunities, and learn about their services. Wonderful. This is the community health center. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Falmouth Village Movies Under the Stars continues tomorrow, 6 p.m. The theme is fish are our friends, not food. <laughs> okay, I know a movie this could yeah. be, right? And this <laughs> is the first one at 6 o'clock, Finding Nemo. And then it's going to be followed by the very friendly Jaws at 8 o'clock. Oh, man. <laughs> that might be more appropriate yeah. these days, no, right? No, no, no. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that I would cozy up jobs yeah. <laughs> um great decisions 2023 global famine that's a more song mm. you no know, uh wednesday august 9 7 to 8 30 p.m over at the falmouth public library um global famine by daniel maxwell what causes it how can it be prevented fears of global food shortages which followed russia's invasion of ukraine disrupting grain shipments from ukraine which is a major grain producer and and then the question is what about the countries and the regions that were in famine before that happened and how is it defined and how is it different from simple food shortage and what remedies are there uh that's not our daniel maxwell i don't know uh, dan maxwell from main street i don't know actually i would say that we would get that information uh, if it was uh, yeah i would think interesting so too, but, yeah. So, yeah, yeah great Registration is required, a limited to 20 participants. Oh, okay. the, Falmouth, the Falmouth Public Library is also presenting Dino Man Thursday, August 10th, 3 to 4 o'clock, with magic, merry mayhem, and magnificent props. Who does this? And life size dinosaurs. The life size, real? I mean, like human life yeah, or a dinosaur life? life. Wow. Yeah, life size dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Yeah. The audience is taken on a trip throughout the Mesozoic era. Perfect for ages four and up. Maybe wow. life size to a four year old. <laughs> That's crazy cool. I love it. All right. Recommended as space is limited. Four and up? Four and up. So we could go. We could. All go. right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Wow. A life size up. Yeah, exactly. All right. 
um, Highfield Hall and Gardens will be presenting another author talk on Thursday, August 10th, 5.30 to 7 p.m. with David Gesner and Nina de, Gra de Gramont. Nina de Gramont. Gramont. Yeah. Great. They are a husband and wife team. Her latest novel, The Christie Affair, is a beguiling novel of star-crossed lovers, heartbreak, revenge, and murder. Mm -hmm. Don't you love the way that um, what's his name on Masterpiece films and murder? Oh, yeah. And murder. Oh, yeah, from, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I can't remember his name, but I know who you I mean. I know, it's in my <laughs> head. It's in my head. <laughs> Maybe it'll come up. Mm -hmm. this. <laughs> and a brilliant reimagine of one of the most talked about unsolved mysteries of the 20th century. Now you're curious. Yeah. David Gesner is an American essayist, memoirist, nature writer, editor, and cartoonist. And we'll read from his latest book, A Traveler's Guide to the End of the World, Tales of Fire, Wind, Water. Okay. He is the author of 11 books that blend a love of nature, humor, memoir, and environmentalism. Okay. You know, it's going to bug me because I know. It I, might come I, up by the end I of the book like that, but I know he means yeah. immaculate yeah. to yeah. what yeah. he remembers. <laughs> I want to say Colin, but I know it's, no, not. it's, not. it's, it's not. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It may be a Colin. All right. Pepper Grinds presents the 10th Annual Summer Striptaculator. Talk about like an about face. Huh? Summer Striptacular. Is this the 10th yeah. annual already? Wow. 10th annual. A highlight of every summer, indeed. Wow. <laughs> this is on Thursday, August 10th, 7.30 p.m. at Katuit Center for the Arts in Katuit on 28th. Mm -hmm. Peppa Grinds, the fearless leader of the much-loved Cape Cod Brazen Bells Burlesque, is back at Katuit Center for the 10th annual Summer Striptacular. Wow. Body and Bold Pepper has lined up an incredible bevy of renowned burlesque superstars, including Two to Fly out of New York City, Margot Mayhem, New York City, the main attraction, New York City, Tansy, New York City, and hosted by Foxy Tan, Minneapolis. <laughs> wow, that's an outlier for you, huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Um, a tribute to jazz giants by Joe Mongel Mongeli, Mongeli, Scott Avedon, and the Cape Jazz Group. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Friday, they August. See, 11th. They go to see the, the bells anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Friday, August 11, 7 to 8 45 p.m. at the West Bell. Okay, wow. In, enjoy meticulous creations of the most widely acclaimed music of Miles Davis, John Coltrane, and Art Lakey. Uh, Joe Mongeli on trumpet, Scott Avedon on sax, Matt Hutchinson on piano, and Michael Ryle on the upright bass, and Michael Dunford on the drums. Nice. Yeah, West right. Mammoth Library. It was a good venue for music. Oh, yeah. Cosmic Conversations at Woods Hole Library, Friday, August 11th, 4 p.m., Nine Billion Names of God. Buddhism and quantum computing mm -hmm. have little in common, and perhaps it's best they stay that way. Join them at the library this summer for a science fiction discussion group geared towards readers ages 12 to 25. Okay. Each meeting, you'll hear a vivid reading of Strange and Challenging Portrait of Tomorrow, and you can discuss and debate what it means and leave with concepts for explorations, discoveries, and further reading. Oh, awesome. Ooh, as well as a full belly, courtesy of the library's snack budget. <laughs> 12, 12 to 25? 12 to 25, yeah, okay. is what it's geared towards. Excellent. Disco party at the Captain Kid, Ooh. Friday, August 11th, 9 o'clock. It's, of course, 21 and older and a cover charge and all that kind of Stay stuff. Alive. At the Water Street. Um, oh, you're doing it too. Winkle, right? Yeah. <laughs> Disco party with music by Straight from the Cape Entertainment, DJ Fry. Disco attire, if you still have it in you your closet, is uh, strongly encouraged. Go on the consignment crawl and, and you can maybe find some right stuff, right? There right? we go. This all ties together, you it's know. Perfect. Right? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Uh, 13th annual David's Old Silver Swim, Saturday, wow. August 12th at 9 30. That came fast. We yeah, were talking about this at the beginning of the year. 13 years, years. Wow. yeah. Uh, Compassionate Care ALS. Um, it, this um, benefits Compassionate Care ALS. It's an open water swim. There's a mile swim and a half mile swim in front of the Seacrest Beach Hotel along the beautiful shoreline of Old Silver Beach. Beautiful indeed. It's a fun and festive family event for swimmers of all ages and levels to raise money for compassionate care ALS in honor of David Garber That's and true. others living with ALS. 
printmaking workshop, hand pulled mono print. This is at the Falmouth Art Center, okay. Saturday, August 12th, 10 to 4 o'clock. Uh, remember to bring a lunch because you're there for the whole day. Mm. One day intensive workshop for beginners, though experienced printmakers are welcome, who would like to understand the possibilities endless of expressive painting with aqua color inks. These water clean up inks are green, but not water based. They contain non-toxic oils and offer all kinds of transparent to opaque layer painting on a clear plate. Right. Yeah. That's cool. That is cool. One day intense. One bring day a sandwich. Intense, bring a sandwich. Yep. Yeah. Woods Hole Science Stroll, Saturday, August 12th, 10 to 3 o'clock. This is over at Cooey on Water Street. This is a family friendly free event with science demos, hands on activities, crafts for kids, engage with people from science organization, and learn about the discoveries they are making. 10 to 3. Science. science stroll. Bill Nye, the science guy. Remember yeah. him? When my kids were small. Yeah. Who doesn't want to go on a science stroll? You learn exactly. something new. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Falmouth Genealogical Society Talk. Uh, Saturday, August 12, 1030 to 1145 a.m. at the Falmouth Public Library. Okay. Um, dive deeper into family search by Annette Burke Little. Learn how to dive deeply into family searches, record collections, and come up with amazing finds. Yeah. All right. Bands for badges, Saturday, August 12th. And that's like the middle of August. Three o'clock to 10 o'clock. Yeah. Three o'clock to 10 o'clock. This take place, takes place over at the Cape Cod Fairgrounds off of 151. Um, a family friendly event features bands, food, face painting, a bouncy house, and more. 100% of the profits goes directly to first responders and military families. Uh, for fallen for fallen first responders, they do all they can to ease the family's tragedy. Wonderful. This is their third annual. Yeah, great, mm -hmm. great to go support that. Yeah. Um, Beyond the Bounds performance at Highfield Hall. This is at Highfield Hall and Gardens up on the hill, Sunday, August 13th, noon to one o'clock. Artistic director Naomi Steckman and Beyond the Bounds is building community and a deeper appreciation for the environment of Cape Cod and our shared cultural heritage. Small, short, and sweet, and featuring a vibraphone musician, dancers, and the amazing work of installation artist John Sierra. Right. Free to the public, bring your lawn chairs or your blanket and enjoy. Uh, yeah. All right. And then on Sunday, August 13th, from 6.30 to 8 o'clock, you can go over to the Falmouth Jewish Congregation on Sandwich Road and come to Sunday Sundays ice cream for a great cause. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday Sunday supports the Falmouth Service Center. It's presented by the Jewish Congregation and the Wap White Congregational Church. They have a great partnership. And uh, they have a tent. Come on under the tent. Enjoy ice cream and games and music, raffles and more. Bring a lawn chair or a blanket for a great night out. From 630 to 8. Who doesn't yeah. love Sunday for Sundays? On a, on on a, a Sunday. On a Sunday yeah. summer evening on Cape Cod. Yeah. Sounds like yeah. fun. Sounds like fun. Stellar Vacation Bible School. This is at John Wesley United Methodist Church on the corner of Jones Road and Gifford Street, Monday, August 14th. Uh, and it runs through Friday, August 18th, okay. 9 a.m. to noon. Uh, this will launch kids on a cosmic quest as they, as they have a blast learning how to shine Jesus's light everywhere. The out of this world adventure filled with light years of faith building, fun, kindergarten through fifth grade, music, dancing, imagination, Bible adventure, games, and more. Okay. Highfield Hall and Gardens presents Teaching with Light with Carol Radford on Monday, August 14th, 9.30 to 12.30. This is Carol Pelletier Radford, the author of Teaching with Light, 10 Lessons for Finding Wisdom, Balance, and Inspiration, a workshop for active teachers. Uh, for practicing teachers who are looking for ways to enhance their well-being and stay inspired, Thanks. learn how to find their wisdom through stories, practice wellness strategies to maintain emotional balance, and discover where to look for inspiration. All right. Yeah. Pretty important during uh, post-COVID. So that's great. And this is a registration, and I think they're, they're, they're limiting it at 25. So if you're interested in that, sign, you know, up, fast. sign up at Highfield Hall. Okay. Or check our website, thalmachamber.com, for any of these events, uh, information on how to sign up or links to get you to registration pages. 
the Brahms Clarinet Sonatas, Monday, August 14th, 5.30 p.m., Falmouth Academy. Manasi Nakamatsu Du. I hope I pronounced that right. John right. Manasi or Manas on clarinet, John Nakamatsu on piano, and Adam, Adam Gopnik is the commentator. Brahms Clarinet Sonatas. I think you did well. Thank you. Yeah, I think, and it'll <laughs> sound really good, too. Yeah. So. <laughs> right. Getting Creative, Garden Crafts and Projects with C.L. Fornari. Tuesday, August 15th, 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. over at Highfield Hall and Gardens. C.L. Fornari will inspire you with this colorfully illustrated program with indoor and outdoor projects that will get your imaginative juices flowing. Okay. See what you can create with objects that you might already have in your garage or closets. Learn how to plant a trough, a tree stump, or other unusual containers. Find out how to make a wreath of hydrangea flowers. If you were lucky enough to get hydrangea flowers this year, I think, we one. I think we're going to have like five. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. pretty, pretty. Uh, yeah, I had to cut them all down to the ground, so that's what happens. What happens? Yeah, they're going to come out next year with the locusts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is next year, you locust year? I think so. It's close. Mm -hmm. oh. Discover fun plant supports and uses for older play flower pots. Build a twig trellis. Have fun. You Twig Twella, say that three times. <laughs> Suffering <laughs> <Suffered. laughs> <laughs> yeah, Live music on the lawn with Matt York. This is at Falmouth Public Library, Tuesday, August 15, 6 to 7 30 p.m. And he's singing Johnny Cash song. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. It's going to be all in black, I wonder. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, in the event of rain, this this will not take place. Oh, it's outside. Oh, Bring your chair or blanket. Yeah. Um, really? Yep. Yep. <laughs> did Joaquin Phoenix, Phoenix kill it in that movie? He really like, did. Like, yeah. Oh my God. He really did. Kill yeah. Kill yeah. it. All right. So I'm a big fan. Cape Cod Learning Tours, Fabulous Feathers, Tuesday, August 15th, 7 to 8 30 p.m. Sabbath Museum's on the Green. This is part of their weekly series featuring local scientists, historians, and naturalists. And this one is up. Feathers, so it's got to be about birds. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't feathers. love birds and feathers. And then next Tuesday, August fifteenth, uh, the College Light Opera will start their run of Singing in the Rain. Well, today would have been a good day to start that, right? It runs through Saturday, August nineteenth. Now the rest of this week, they're still doing Jesus Christ Superstar. Tickets are um, are sparse. What's left is sparse, but I think. Possibly they have some tickets. There. So go on their website and check it out if you want to see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but if you want to see Singing on the Rain, which of course plays over to Highfield Theater, uh, this starts next Tuesday and will run Amazing. through the weekend. Amazing. So much good stuff going on. So much. Yeah. So, like, you know, take in the outdoors now that the rain has stopped, yeah. white path, beaches, everything be else that's going on. It is interesting. You pointed out, well, like halfway through August, right? Next week's the 15th. Like, yeah. So it's near that most wonderful time of year, back to school. I know a lot of parents <laughs> feel that way. Uh, but there's still plenty of summer right. left. There's still a lot going on. Still get the town band on Thursday nights, on Thursday right? Nights. Thursday nights. The band show. Still a lot of exhibits and stuff going on. Check our website. Those are all listed. Um, with road race coming up, right, yeah. next, next weekend. Mm -hmm. So we get that going on. It's going to be exciting. A lot of influx of people coming into town. Yeah. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, I mean, it's still a lot going on. There is. That's and there's a serious. couple, two, three good weeks to enjoy it. So get out there. Yeah. And last yeah. week, I don't know how many of you made it, but uh, whose whole film festival was amazing. Mm -hmm. Just amazing. Uh, we're, we're beginning to work pretty pretty feverishly now on the holidays by the sea weekend. Hard to believe it's true. 60th, 60th annual Christmas parade. And this year's theme is? Holidays through the decades. Through the decades. And so. They, uh, uh, um, um, applications come out in September. So this is what I recommend. You go on the consignment crawl, you grab your 1970s disco clothes, mm -hmm. you go to that event, and then you build a float around that. Yeah, yeah. And we do holidays through, through the, the decades. decades. Let's yeah. do a disco yeah. holiday float. So just some ideas for you guys. So that's there. a great tool because be you fun. can use that disco stuff twice. Okay. So yeah, there you All go. All right. So make great. it a great week. Have a good week.